loved coming to the desert ever since we were little children. Myself and my brother Hazar, it's in our blood as a Bedouin family. But for me personally, I'd always love to wander off and, and absorb all the peace and tranquility and be on my own. And that's what I wanted to take in, and reproduce in my garden at Chelsea. This is the Al Barari project in the outskirts of Dubai, which myself and my family have developed together. We've really created this haven and this green, lush environment that people can enjoy. Here at Al Barari, one of the major challenges that we've faced is obviously where our water was going to come from. So what we organized was um, a pipeline directly from the sewage treatment plant. So we actually have uh, recycled water. We've also really focused on the types of plants that we've used. We've tried to mix arid plants with the lush planting to help reduce water consumption. And we've actually created a microclimate. And on average, we've created a, a, an atmosphere that's about four degrees cooler than the rest of Dubai. My garden in Chelsea, it's called the Beauty of Islam. And for me, it really is a representation of our religion and, and Arabic culture. And its key elements are obviously the planting. And one of my favorite species is the Bismarckia nobilis. I absolutely adore the Bismarckia just because it's so architectural and dramatic and it's majestic as well. And I love the silver palms. And I also love the trunk because it plaits. It's just a stunning plant. And I don't think most people in the UK would have ever seen a Bismarckia, so I'm very excited about people really, you know, seeing something new for the first time. So the Bismarckia, for me, is holding the structure and the architectural elements of the garden together. And one of my biggest inspirations architecturally is really the Sheikh Zayed Mosque in Abu Dhabi. real inspiration for my garden at Chelsea Flower Show this year. This is the Sheikh Zayed Mosque in Abu Dhabi and it was built by our father and the late president, His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nahyan. It's just such an amazing piece of architecture and really for His Highness it was to resemble and show the unity and diversity of Islam throughout the world. Um, the architecture itself shows that in that it's Moorish, it's Arab, it's uh, Mughal and it's also Persian. What fascinates me so much about the mosque is the fine detail. And here you can see this amazing floral patterns that have been hand inlaid into the white marble. And it really represents the relationship of humankind with nature, which is central to Islam. Another thing that I really love is this contrast of light and shade that's happening through the archways. And it's something that I've also wanted to bring into my garden at Chelsea this year. These are the perfect example of traditional Islamic archways and they're so magnificent. And I've used them within my garden design to create structure and architecture. But in my design, I've done them in a much more contemporary way. This beautifully detailed wall behind me depicts the 99 names of Allah in calligraphy. And Allah is central to everything in Islam. And I've also used the same concept within my garden. I have a beautiful piece of sculpture, which is actually contemporary calligraphy of the word Allah. And it really is a central piece of the whole garden and ties everything together. Here you can see such a beautiful detail of Mother of Pearl inlaid in the marble. Um, and I've used Mother of Pearl within my garden. But Mother of Pearl is also very significant for the UAE and our heritage and culture here, as our economy was really built on the pearl industry. And even my grandfather was a pearl diver. I'm really honored to be participating in Chelsea this year. Um, 
and I really hope that people enjoy my garden and I think I would have achieved my dream if one person does walk away and is more curious about Islam and more positive about our culture as well.